This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 761. Inspiration from Anthony Robles by Ross Enemite of rosstraining.com and I'm Dr. Neil. A very happy Monday to you. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs covering fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more. Kind of like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. And real quick, we need to talk about something. Constipation, abdominal pain, and bloating. If these symptoms come back again and again, then it may be time to seek help. Go to ohmygut.info slash podcast where you can learn more about your symptoms. For now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Inspiration from Anthony Robles by Ross Anamite of rostraining.com. A link was posted last night that deserves its own place on the blog. It was a story about Arizona State wrestler Anthony Robles. Robles is just one leg, but that hasn't stopped him from becoming a dominant force in the sport of wrestling. There are several things I like about this story. It's awesome to see Robles compete at such a high level, but what I really enjoy is hearing how difficult it was for him to get where he is today. Many read these inspirational stories, but fail to realize the steps taken before these individuals were making headlines. For example, in his story from the video he posted, Robles discusses his entry into the sport as a high school freshman. Quote, I got beat up a lot. I finished five and eight in my first year. But after that, I liked the competition. I liked how it's just one-on-one. It has a team dimension, but at the same time, how well you do is determined by how hard you work, not what anybody else does. End quote. Here was a kid who certainly had doubters when he first began. He then goes out and has a losing record. I don't think anyone would have held it against him if he packed up his bags after his first year. He had already defied the odds by making the team and competing. Just getting up to compete is a victory in itself. But that wasn't enough for Robles. He worked hard, wrestling against bigger and better athletes. I'm sure he got his you-know-what handed to him, as does everyone who is first getting started but he continued to learn and improve. That's all that mattered to him. Robles went 48-0 as a junior on his way to a state title at only 103 pounds. He posted the same record as a senior, pinned his way through the 112-pound bracket at the state meet, and capped his career later in the spring by winning his weight class at the 2006 High School Senior National Championships. He now wrestles at Arizona State and is working his way up the rankings. This is obviously an amazing story, but let's look past his single leg. He does not consider himself disabled, so neither should we. I'm more interested in his willingness to win. How many youngsters have started a sport and given up after a poor performance or a losing record? How much potential has been untapped simply because people have given up? I'm sure there were dream snatchers around Robles who thought he couldn't succeed. What if he had listened to them? What would he be doing now? So many of us have potential that we never even realize. If Robles walked away after his freshman year, he would have never realized his potential to go unbeaten two years in a row. Who could have guessed he would be so successful? We can all learn from this story. Life isn't supposed to be easy. The great do not become great by taking the easy road. They struggle just like everyone else. What separates the champion is his willingness to get up after being knocked down. He blocks out the dream snatchers and charts his own future. I'm sure Robles had nights when he went home banged up and bruised, but he kept coming back. He never gave up. It's been a way of life for him since he was a young boy. In the words of his own mother, quote, I've seen him ride a bike when he was five years old and nobody thought he could do that and I wasn't even sure he could do that. I saw him play football and that was amazing. I've seen him play basketball. He drives a car. He's missing his right leg and drives with his left leg. People weren't sure how he was going to do that, but he adjusted. It's just Anthony's personality. If it's in front of him, he'll figure out how to do it. End quote. Notice how she said, people weren't sure how he was going to do that. I'm sure people have been thinking this way his entire life. People often think they are smarter than they are. Fortunately, it isn't up to people to decide what you and I do with our lives. People need to worry about their own lives and stop interfering with the lives of others. If you don't think someone can succeed, keep it to yourself. 
let the individual decide on his own. Offer your support rather than living life as a critic. If you want to be special in this world, you need to be ready to pay the price. Chances are that you'll fail at first, perhaps many times. We all run into obstacles that at times appear too difficult to overcome. That's life. Deal with it. And please don't misconstrue my words. I'm not telling you what to do. You don't need to overcome anything if you don't want to. I'm simply telling you what you will need to do if you want to be special. It's an individual choice that we must all make each day. If and when you are ready to make that choice, you can learn a lot from Anthony Robles. You just listened to the post titled Inspiration from Anthony Robles by Ross Enemite of rostraining.com. And again, we need to talk about something. Constipation, abdominal pain, and bloating. You tell yourself it's not that bad. You take laxatives and modify your diet and exercise routine. But thinking about it all the time is frustrating. Do you find yourself making up excuses instead of admitting that you don't want to go out because you're worried about leaving home? Despite your best efforts to feel better, your symptoms keep coming back. You might have a real medical condition called irritable bowel syndrome with constipation, or IBSC. To get more info about your symptoms in IBSC, go to ohmygut.info slash podcast. And if you're ready, find out ways to talk to your doctor or access one online. That's ohmygut.info slash podcast ohmygut.info slash podcast. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Not to toot my own horn in any way, not trying to be a humble bragger, is that even a phrase? But what I can tell you from my experience is people often ask me, how did you get into this field? And what I tell them is, it wasn't a straight path. I was not interested in physical activity, nutrition, anything related to those concepts. I played sports as a kid, but would fight my parents every week when I had to go to practice and games. I would much rather prefer eating pizza over vegetables any day. And actually, this continued up until college. But that's when I got sick. That's when I got diagnosed with a chronic disease. And that was the worst thing and the best thing that happened to me. Because that changed me. Not immediately. I still had to be convinced that changing my lifestyle would actually help improve my chronic condition. And that took some time. But once I started to feel better after changing my diet and exercising, I realized, hmm, maybe all those health professionals are onto something here. But then I decided I want to educate others. I wanted to help others see, from my experience, that changing your lifestyle can really make you feel better. And then I thought, well, it would be amazing to be able to teach undergraduate and graduate level students to be able to go out there and make a difference and do what I do. Only nobody wanted to hire me for that job. Nobody wanted me to be a professor at their university. I applied to over, oh, I want to say 40 positions and got rejected by every single one until on my 41st application, somebody took a chance on me. And so for the past 11 years, I've been teaching. But there were times when I thought, maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. Maybe I'm not built to teach. Maybe all these rejections should be a sign. But I knew that this is really what I wanted to do. And so sometimes people think that I'm successful because I got lucky or I'm successful just because I'm super smart. Nope, it was really through persistence, having a passion for this, knowing truly in my heart that this is what I wanted to do and that I would find a way somehow to educate others. And this podcast, being able to talk to you, is just another way for me to share some wonderful information. Oh, and I know he'll be embarrassed by this, but if you're wondering how my brother Justin, who hosts Optimal Living Daily, and his business partner Lee got this podcast started, you should ask him. Justin and Lee had other business ideas before they kind of landed on this Optimal Living Daily family of podcasts. It wasn't an easy road. There were definitely some curves and turns and even U-turns along the way. But with persistence, here we are. All right, I've done enough talking for today. I hope you have a great start to your week and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.